The human being is subject to numerous factors of influences, ranging from health, wealth, well-beingness, education, religion, color, creed, many, many factors that give me or you or him or her the strength or the weakness, the goodness or, if you like, the reverse also of our makeup. Now, the issue of religion, the issue of meditation, the issue of reflection, silence, all of these things imply attempting to touch another zone of consciousness, a higher zone of consciousness, rather than the conditioned consciousness we are all in, that we have to respond to. Whether it's a noise that is banging and brings you fear, whether it is the temperature that you have, fever that you have, or whatever, whatever. So you can't help but respond for your own safety and security. Now, having done that, you are in a safe place, pleasant place, healthy. Now comes the issue of not good enough. This is wonderful, it's fine, but not enough. I am seeking that which is eternal, permanent, absolute. For that reason, I want to transcend this zone. And for that reason, we pray. For that reason, we meditate. For that reason, we like peace, silence. To keep this in a point, in the hope of transcending to the next zone in which I'm going to come anyway. So it's as good as my ability to maintain silence, to maintain that inner stillness to maintain lack of clutter, lack of, lack of, if you like, interference. So the whole business to lose me, to lose the so-called identity. In reality, you don't. You are actually acknowledging the essential nature of your reality, which is spiritual, which is a soul, spirit, divine, not worldly not subject to space and time and change. That is who you really are. 